Greetings to all. We celebrate the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. With your spirit. We begin our liturgy by calling to mind our sinfulness and asking the Father's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to, to, to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Our first reading today is a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, If only you would heed the voice of the Lord your God, and keep his commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law, when you return to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. For this command I enjoin on you today, it is not too mysterious and remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say, who will go up in the sky to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? Nor is it across the sea that you should say, who will cross the sea to get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? No, it is something very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You only have to carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
Our second reading today is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him and all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross. Through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord, there was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, you have answered correctly, do this and you will live. And because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man fell victim to robbers and he went down from, as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan travel, traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instructions, take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. There was this, you uh, know, religious education class for a five, six-year-old. The teacher was t t teaching the students about the commandments. And she, she, she said, you know, we have the, the fourth commandment is honor thy father and thy mother. And tell me, now, is it, what commandment would you say there is? What commandment it is that, shows, that tells us how we should treat our brothers and sisters? And one little girl said, raised her hand right away and said, oh, I know, thou shalt not kill. <laughs> Of course, today in our gospel is about the commandments when Jesus, when the scholar of the law says, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He, what is written in the law, and he tells them about the commandments. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength. And uh, as our gospel goes on, this is story, of course, the famous story of the Good Samaritan. The man fell victim to robbers. And maybe the outstanding point, part of this is when he's telling what the, the Samaritan traveler was moved with compassion at the sight. And at the very end of the gospel, when Jesus asked, who, who was the neighbor to the robber's victim? The, the, he answered, the one who treated him with mercy. And again, reminded that 
throughout the, the, the letter of the, the, what the spirit of the law is about is showing being moved with compassion and love for one another. You shall love the Lord your God and your neighbor as yourself. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We bring our petitions to our Heavenly Father. Our intercessions today, please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For all called to ministry in the church throughout the world, may they open their hearts so that God can do all things through them. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims, survivors, and first responders to the Highland Park shooting, grant comfort and healing, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may God show our commitment to each other by our works and our deeds. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially Nicole Walker, Leona Falk Gordon, Patty St. Luca, and those suffering the loss of a loved one, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our needs held in the silence of our hearts and those in the Book of Petitions in the Eucharistic Chapel, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, may our prayers increase our love for you and one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angel, angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end we acclaim holy.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me, the mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer a sign of peace to one another. Peace, peace be with you. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hello, everybody. Here's Louie, Gracie, and Father Bob saying hello to all. And I came across a story the other day about a man who was at a job interview. And uh, um, the employer, prospective employer, says to him, now, you know, we got to talk about what your qualifications are for this job. Why don't we do it this way? Why don't, why don't you tell him we'll start out, what is your worst quality? What would, you, what would you say is your worst quality? And the man says, my worst quality is honesty. I always tell the truth. And the, and the, and the boss kind of looks at him flabbergasted. He says, well, be, be, you're, you're always honest, I'll always tell the truth. Well, I really think that's a great quality. And the man says, I really don't care what you think. <laughs> anyway. Everything's going well. We had, a, we had a fourth. We're very sorry about the tragedy that happened at Highland Park. Our hearts go out to the people and that just, with this senseless violence, we pray for them. Our thoughts are with them. And greetings and best of luck to all. Take care. God bless.